Hello, and welcome back to Mr. Hines Explains. Today, we are talking about uh, the vocab terms for looking for Alaska, both page 74 to 97 and uh, pages 97 to 123. So we are going to do two sections of vocab. It's kind of a two for one today. So make sure you get all of those terms in there for me today. Um, we're going to have 10 terms. Here we go. Disintegrating is your first uh, term. And when a disintegrating is a verb. And disintegrating means to break up into tiny pieces. You're, you're really like making it very, very small from where it originally was. You're, it's not just like breaking it in half, but rather like taking a rock and suddenly, boom, it's sand. Okay? Secondly, cadence. Uh, a cadence is a noun, and we usually see this in terms of like sounds or music. It's a sequence of notes or sounds. Okay, so it's like a drum pattern. It's a beat pattern. It's uh, a lyrical pattern. It's it's a sequence. It's a pattern. Okay, uh, third one, conscientious conscientious sorry my stutter can't really say that today conscientious is an adjective and basically when you if you are conscientious you want to do what's right so uh people who were protesting during the civil rights movement were known as conscientious objectors uh, they wanted to do what's right they wanted to stand up for the right thing Okay? Number four, contraband. And contraband's a noun. That means goods made illegal in some way. They're somehow uh, no longer allowed, no longer uh, legal, no longer able to be in society. Okay? And the last but not least for the first section of these vocab words is the word harrowing. Here, let me erase that and rewrite it um, so I can be a little bit clearer. Harrowing. And harrowing is another adjective. That just means extremely distressing. It's not just being like, oh, I'm a little bit worried about this. I'm a little bit stressful, stressed out about this. This is like harrowing. Usually we're talking about like near death experiences. Okay. So this section, if you want to write a note to yourself, this section is 74 through 97. Now let's talk about 97 through 123. You're going to hopefully do 74 through 97 uh, the first half of the week and 97 to 123 the second half of the week for reading. So starting in 97, you have five more, starting with the word dilapidated. And dilapidated is another adjective. Uh, it means in a state of disrepair. If you've ever gone hiking or exploring somewhere and you've seen like a really rundown house like you can see through the walls and the roof and it looks like it hasn't been lived in in dec decades that's what we know as dilapidated it's not just like oh i should maybe tune up my car it's like my car has been sitting in uh in the shop for a decade okay uh the word coincides is next it's a verb and coincides means it's happening at the same time as something else it is 
going on at the same time as something else. So um, while we are having contemporary literature, it is coinciding with other teachers teaching other classes, for instance. Okay, three more. Complacent is next, and complacent is another adjective. You'll notice that a lot of these words are adjectives. Uh, complacent means you're pleased with an accomplishment. Um, but you're not really critical about it. Uh, to be critical about it. What that what we mean by that is that you're gonna do something and you're like, all right, I've done this. I think it's pretty good, and you're not even willing to check your work. You're not even willing to go back on it. You're just like, nope, we're moving on. That's complacent. Um, second to last one, the word inordinate. Inordinate. Another adjective. And this just means an unusual, unusual amount, maybe unusually large amount. So th when we're talking about inordinate, we're talking about things that like are insanely big, not nor normally that big. So if you had a dog that's the size of a bear, that would be an inordinate, inordinately sized dog. And last but not least, you have the word vagueness. And this one's a noun. This will end us for today. Vagueness is a lack of certainty. Uh, one of my pet peeves is if someone talks with a level of vagueness, it's hard to understand. It's hard to understand exactly what they want. All right, go ahead and submit this for a check. And then you have two vocab quizzes, because remember, this is two sets of vocab. Uh, and these vocab quiz, uh, you can take as many times as you need. Um, and so it's basically four free points. You have one for 74 through 97 and one for 97 through 123. All right, I will see you in the next video.